After months of back and forth characterized by hitch after hitch, the Judicial Service Commission has pronounced itself in the matter of alleged gross misbehavior and misconduct on the part of five Supreme Court judges, Susan Njoki Ndungu, Kalpana Rawal, Philip Tunoy, Mohammed Ibrahim, and Jackson Ojuang will be reprimanded. One of the, the under the Judicial Service uh, Act, the JSC can either recommend the formation of a tribunal to investigate a judge, they can also recommend admonishment. And admonishment is what uh, is reprimand. The contention arose from a decision by the Supreme Court judges to impose a moratorium, thereby occasioning a disruption in services at the judiciary. The quorum H was stage managed. Okay. At no time, in very few occasions, does the, the, the Supreme Court sit as a full bench. Apollo Mboya filed the petition last year in October. He says the judges acted in solidarity with two of their colleagues on the bench who were set to retire. Judges are state officers and the definition of state officers include governors and His Excellency the President. The president cannot go on strike on Kenyans. But the Judicial Service Commission restrained itself from recommending the conduct of the judges be investigated. A judge can only be removed through a tribunal constituted by the president. The Judicial Service Commission also found that the allegations by the petitioner did not meet the constitutional threshold that would warrant the recommendation of a tribunal. I expect a letter, nothing short than a letter. Uh, uh, setting out that um, there was a petition and they, they also they responded to the petition because I have their responses and that the Judicial Service Commission determined that they had misconducted themselves, made a finding that they misconducted themselves and uh, made a decision to reprimand them. Sources in the judiciary, however, allege the decision is informed by succession politics. The Chief Justice is due for retirement in a month. Already, the Judicial Service Commission has announced that the process of recruiting Chief Justice Mutunga's successor will begin and is estimated that the whole process will take four months. The position will be open to any qualified Kenyan once the vacancy is declared in the Kenya Gazette. Ken Mijungu, NTV.